The word of the Lord is the most important thing for everybody. And with all the wickedness that has taken place in America and the world, I find it amazing that the only message that most of these men claim they got from God is prosperity and money. People are dying on the streets of America and the world every day. And religion is being held hostage by Satan himself. I'm a firm believer that everybody don't want to go to hell. And I also realize that millions would do better if someone took the time out to tell them. But the preachers have been brainwashed by money, notoriety, fame, until God had been tossed on the back burner. So when they hear us, they think something's mentally <laughs> and emotionally distorted within me. Because I'm not getting paid to preach this. I'm totally the opposite of what people are used to. You never have to come pay to hear us. Church is not paying me to preach the gospel. I work because the Bible tells me to work. I wasn't voted by a board of directors. So I don't care how mad the board get. There's nothing you can do about it but obey it or go to hell for not doing it. That's right. I never get too close to nobody that I can't preach God's word. We don't believe in church favoritism and respect the persons. We believe that it's only God's way or we don't recognize nobody's way. And that's the way you have to be, brothers and sisters. It's God's way or nobody's way. So, Boston, I'm glad to be here with you for these two days. And yes, you too. I thank you for taking the time out. To come from whatever church you belong to. Don't tell me what it is because I don't care. <laughs> Jesus said upon this rock I'd build my church. Jesus only have one church. And there's only one preacher in God's church. And it's not Pastor Jennings. Did you hear what I said? It's one preacher in God's church. And it's not me. Preacher that's in God's church is God himself. Amen. God told his apostles, it is not you that speaketh, but the voice of my father speaketh in you. So God make manifest his word through preaching. And if the man is not preaching the word of the Lord, you can go to your church and run around and fall out and foam at the mouth and shake to the white of your eyes it seems like you're going into convulsions. But if the word of God is not being preached, you stay home. They get mad at me all around the world because I tell the people, stop going to that fake church. Stay home. Don't pay your way to hell. Why in the world are you going to burn gas? Drain your bank account. Wear good clothing to go to hell. Stay home. Hang your clothes up in your closet. Don't go to nobody's church unless it's the church that started on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem by Jesus. I am not the founder of the church. So if you're a member of a church and on that building... They have pastor and founder, Bishop Hootie Doo, or Bishop Chicken Wing, or Bishop Butterscott, or Bishop Beef Turkey. You know what's on your sign, you old Boston hypocrite. Right then, when you see the bishop is the founder, you did not enter the doors of God Church. You can't have two founders of God's church. Amen. That goes for our guy the bishops here. Amen. Jesus said, upon this rock, I'll build my church. He's the boss. 
I work for him. Amen. I am hired by him. That's what got me traveling around the world like we are. Think of it. Traveling around the world, not getting paid. Do it free of charge and folks still don't want it. We're still rejoicing over our youth conference. God knows we are. And Boston, you might as well get yourself ready for the International Convocation for July. You might as well quit going to church. What time is it, brother? I don't want to lose track of time. We'll give you the correct time real quick. 623? Quit going to church right now. <laughs> yeah. Amen. It's 623. Saturday evening in the wicked city of Boston, Massachusetts. You might as well stop going to your church. All these churches in this city, Catholic, Baptist, Pentecostal, non-denominational, apostolic, Mormon, Muslim, Jehovah Witness, Christian, scientist, Scientology. Come on now, Boston, don't be a fool. Do you really think God set up religion like an open buffet that you can just drive up and put an order in like you're doing a drive through at McDonald's? Give me three scoops of Baptist and give me a, a, a cup of Methodist and give me some French fried apostolic. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. You know, when I came up, they had a commercial. I think it was about Burger King. And one of them, hold the pickle, hold the lettuce. And that's the way folks are about the truth. Oh, baptism. Hold speaking in tongues. That's right. Have it your way. That's where the devil have it. Have it your way. The way God have it, you're going to have it the way the word of God says it. And this is what I'm pounding in creation. There's only two alternatives, brothers and sisters. Heaven or hell. Ain't no need to walk around here in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Be dedicated to some religious organization just to die and they give you what they call a home going. And the next time your eyes come open, you come up in the second resurrection standing before God just to hear depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. Look at your church. Don't tell me how long you've been a member. Look at it. See, is it according to the Bible? You a Baptist, don't brag. You're a Methodist, don't brag. You're a Jehovah Witness, don't brag. Don't you brag about no religion you have. Go to the Bible. Are oh, you listening to the old man, Boston? That's right. Go to the Bible and see can you find the religion that you've been dedicated to, that you've been a deacon in, that you've been on a choir, that you've been an usher that you've been a minister, that you've been an elder, that you've been a mother, that you've been a missionary, that you've been a deaconess, that you've been a woman evangelist, go to that Bible. If you don't believe the Bible, what are you going to church for? Think of it. What are you going for? If I didn't believe what's in there, you think I come to Boston to go to church? <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a Bostonian here that can take me to one of your old crazy clubs. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. Glory to, God. Glory to God. Now, let me say this to all of my viewers. Many of you have made your reservations already uh, at the convention center in Greensboro. Now, this is where some of you have made your mistake. And the hotel reached out to us. Everyone that have made their reservations before the church done blocked everything. We got it all blocked and booked now. The hotel wants you to redo it because you're under another church organization. See, the week after us, there's another organization coming who name is similar to ours. They call themselves Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith out of New York, Bishop R.C. Lawson organization. They're coming after us. Amen. They should come while we're there. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So all of you that have made your reservations already, this is a news flash. Warning. <laughs> Warning. The hotel wants you to rebook. Write this down. This is the code that you got a book under. F-C-O. That's the code. F-C-O. F-C-O. Do that. You got to rebook your reservations. Over 100 done done it. Maybe 200, maybe 300 already. People ain't wasting no time. They want to be there so bad. And you're going to be shocked when you find yourself sitting in the false church. It won't be us. <laughs> Sitting around out there, where's Pastor Dennis? I'm somewhere home. We done came and gone. It's like missing the resurrection. So came, gone. So the code F C O. F as in first. C as in Christ. O as in Omega. <laughs> All right. All right. Open your Bible anywhere. Let's go to work. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 55 and at verse 7. Follow me, Boston. I want to encourage everybody here. Leave your church. That's it. I'm criticized by many thousands of preachers. You know, there's not a religious program in America or out that's even similar to this. Amen. It's outstanding. Oh, yes. And man, one fella came to me. One brother came to me. He was laughing. He said, you know, Pastor Jennings, there was a fella. He didn't say preacher. There was a fella obviously saw all them thousands of people there in Greensboro, and he took a text, said, don't follow the crowd. Mm. <laughs> he was so <laughs> upset seeing all those people. I said, well, who was it? He said, I yeah, just some fella. Don't worry about it. <laughs> took a text, don't follow the crowd. Well, Jesus said, my sheep will hear my voice. That's it. And uh, thousands are coming to this old message. This message is not prosperity. We don't believe in that trash. No. Amen. The true prosperity is not money or land or your clothing. True prosperity is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. That's right. I don't care how much money you got. You was born without it. You're dying without it. That's right. And then if you got a bathroom bigger than this auditorium and your tub is big as this stage and your toilet bowl is as round as William's tabletop. <laughs> Amen. And you need a crane to sit on it. Mm. Every morning you take an elevator to sit on the edge and your feet dangle off like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Go ahead, take God. When the smoke clear, and God snatch your breath out of your body. Hear yeah, me good, Boston. You're going to stand before God. That's right. Now this is what everybody need to consider. If your belief don't pass the Bible tests, never mind what your mother raised you, never mind what your father raised you, never mind that. You know, a lot of folks say, well, but if my mama told me it got to be right. No, sometimes our mother tells us the best what they know. Right. Sometimes our father done the best they can. But who can give you better information than God? That's right. If we examine ourselves, get what I'm telling you. We're going to have to come back and start over. And uh, I'd rather start over while I'm alive. That's right. Because if I die, I can't start over at all. That's right. So while I'm alive, if I got to start from scratch, get baptized over again because I'm baptized wrong. Baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And everybody that's baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you no more baptized than uh, apples getting washed by your own hands in your faucet. That's right. <laughs> because Jesus didn't say be baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. He said do it in the name of, of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And you can't do it in the name of it unless you know the name of it. That's right. I'm a son by birth. I'm a husband by marriage. I'm a father because my wife and I got seven kids. Hmm. I know I'm a father. Oh, yes. But uh, what's my name? What's your name? It ain't husband. It ain't father. It ain't brother. 
It ain't uncle. My name is Jennings, so you got to call my name. That's it. All of you that have been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you've been baptized wrong, wrong. including your pastor, mm -hmm. bishop, your elder, your prophet, your evangelist, your so-called apostle. All of the city of Boston, I mean the whole, the whole state of Massachusetts got to come back to Bible. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. All right, Williams, let's go to work. Follow I me in your Bible. Isaiah 55 and then verse 7. Now remember, viewers, you that made your reservations already, go back and get that code F-C-O. The hotel contact and say y'all done booked it under the wrong church. Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you. Shame. Get it right now. Get it right. You got to cancel your reservations and redo it. Yes. So you can be written right. That's All right, right, Williams, what you have? Isaiah chapter 55 and at verse 7. All right. Let the <coughs> wicked forsake his way. What should Boston do? Let the wicked forsake his way. You might as well give the benediction right on that scripture. That's right. All of Boston, Amen. cigarette suckers and vapors and beer guzzlers, Christian dice rollers. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Christian Budweiser lovers. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Amen. Christian Dykes. Uh -huh. mm. You go to churches that got a rainbow flag. Uh -huh. That's right. Talking about we accept everybody. Mm -hmm. God don't accept everybody's behavior. No, no. God said all souls are mine, but God wants your behavior to change. That's it. Get me. Let the wicked forsake his way. You know, even the school board of America is trying to push this homosexual agenda down the throats of students. That's right. Amen. And I want to say to every teacher, every teacher that's trying to, where they're trying to force you to call some young man and some young girl not by a he or she, but by them. Them. One person walk around tomorrow and say, I'm a them. <laughs> I'm they. No, you a fool. That's a fool. Hear me, parents? That's a fool. You go to a church that bow to that junk, you in the devil's church. That's right. Because God said he made man in his image. In his image. And in his likeness. That's it. And from Adam, woman came out. That's right. Woman came out. That's right. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Not Adam and Steve. No. Someone said, well, you behind the times, Pastor Jen, and look, I'm right up to date. <laughs> That's right. God don't change it. No. You modern, timid Christians. Oh, yes. Because you got homosexuals in your family, you're scared to say anything. Mm -hmm. God don't change. That's right. That Bible don't change for your family, don't change for your son, don't change for your mama, and don't change for your daddy. For I am the Lord, I change not. Amen. Are you getting me? In Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. That's why they get Al Sharpton. Yeah. He's a chameleon. Yes. In other words, where he land, as long as he get paid, That's he ain't true. saying nothing. That's true. The Black Panthers reached out to me. Mm. Asked me, will I come preach? I forgot the name of the city in Louisiana. They came when I was in Lafayette. They said, we watch you down here. We love you. We want to know, would you come? There's a lot of murder in our city. There's murder everywhere. Yeah. And he asked me, he said, what would you charge? I said, nothing. His eyes got big. He said, you're kidding me. <laughs> he said, you mean to tell me you will come preach for the Black Panther Party? I said, I preach for anybody. Because I kill everybody. That's right. I preach for the Black Panthers on Monday, and Monday night I go preach for the Ku Klux Klan. That's right. Eh? That's right. Where they God, I have the Klan and the Panthers both going down in water. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Eh? Amen. He said, so uh, you mean to tell me, Pastor Jennings, you wouldn't charge me? I said, no, no, no. no. I, Pastor Paul said, I'd be chargeable of none of you none the gospel. Of you. He said, I'm shocked. You're the first preacher we ever met that even said such a thing. He said, we had Al Sharpton to come, and he charged us $35,000 just to stand and take a picture. Wow. My Lord. Glory to God. You see, we're in the last days, and you wonder why do My God Lord. have our voice hmm. louder than anything under the sun that professed to be religion. That's right. 
We come along with God's word to quicken your mind, quicken your heart, and let you understand that going to church today has been turned to nothing but a tradition. That's right. That's all. That's all. A tradition. That's you it. go because it's Saturday or you go because it's Sunday. Some of you on your way here, you are smoking driving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah, man, you got six pack of beer all in your house. You know you do, Boston. <laughs> Some of you here with your second wife and with yeah. your third husband. Yeah. Am I right? That's right. And you should be here. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. That way you can go home two different directions. That's right. Do you hear this? Let the wicked forsake his way. Give chapter and verse again. Back in Isaiah 55 and verse <coughs> 7. Let the wicked. That forsake. got everything under the sun. Everything. Let the wicked forsake. His leave, way. Break off. Stop. That's right. Forsake his, his way. You see, we got ways that's not like God. Oh, yes. Am I right, I said? Oh, yes. Everybody that's walked this planet got ways that's not like God. Oh, God. But have you noticed? Every way under the sun that's opposite from God, they say it's a Christian. That's right. That's right. Hmm? <laughs> that's right. All these bigots that live in Boston? Mm. How in the that's world are you going to look at me? Now, let me get raw with you. And I'm not going to say I'm sorry because I don't apologize for telling the truth. But if it get too hot, go out, get water, and bring your britches back. <laughs> that's right. How in the world you going to say you're a Christian, yeah. get me, and call me a nigger? That's right. How in the world you going to say you're a Christian and call my Hispanic brother a spick? That's right. How in the world you going to say you're a Christian and call my Asian brother a chink? Amen. How in the world you going to say you're a Christian and call my Polish brother yeah. a told you he got a miracle with your name on it. No. Jesus say he that believe and is baptized shall be saved. Amen. He that don't believe it shall be damned. That's it. That damned mean you're going to hell. That's right. Huh? Let the wicked forsake his way. Let Boston. Amen. They say that's why I don't like that man because he don't preach with love. <laughs> See I'm like the grandpa. You know I'm not like the modern parents you know that send their children in the corner to my son time out. <laughs> Old Jimmy can kick his mother on the ankle and slap his father and say, no, shut up. And, and, and the parents just say, Jimmy, that's not nice. Not nice. You shouldn't say that, Jim. That's right. Let Jimmy go to Grandpa house and say that. <laughs> on, before he gets shut up out, he ain't going to get the up out. That's right. He just going to get sh by. That's right. I'm, I'm like grandpa with the Bible. That's right. Thank God I take the belt of scripture and go around the world beating creation. That's right. Huh? That's right. You don't, you don't need me to pet you because you already go to churches that have made you sugar babies. Yeah. That's why you're spoiled and you look at me with Popeyes and shocked. <laughs> Did he say this? Did he say that? Yes, I said it. That's right. That's right. If your preacher was so right, you wouldn't be so shocked at what I'm saying. Yeah. You mean to tell me all the dirt 
and trash and garbage in society and your preacher don't say nothing? Say nothing. But let the church say amen. God is love. Jesus is love. He died for me. He died for you. Hold the neighbor next to you. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. It's your time. That's right. They have no message. No message. To get you right. That's right. Everything is watered down. Yeah. And the reason why it's watered down is to keep you happy and keep your wallet broke. That's right. I wouldn't care if you gave a million dollars a second. It's heaven or hell. Amen. That's it. That's it. Your money is not going to save you. No, no. Your position you have ain't going to save you. going to save you. I know millionaires and know them personally. Yeah. And hey, they tell me, Pastor Jenny, you, you really ain't impressed with nobody. I said, no. No. Sometimes they bragged with me about what kind of furniture they got. They say, well, Pastor Jenny, you know, I got a, I remember I went to one house and they had one of them Louis or something, Louis the 15th or Louis the, I don't, it was somebody from Louis. <laughs> and uh, I, I got ready to sit down and his wife was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Please don't sit there, no. When she, she caught me, I was in this position. <laughs> She's like, I mean, I mean no harm, uh, Reverend Jennings, but no, no, that's, that's a Louis uh, for somebody imported from France. My oh, Lord. If what's good enough for Louis behind is good enough for mine. That's right. Where's Louis at now? That's Louis right. dead. He's dead. <laughs> that's right. Come on back to Bible, Boston. Amen. Come on back and break up your wicked way. That's it. Stop your smoking. Stop your gambling. Stop your clubbing. Stop your partying. Stop your drinking. Stop living together, not married. Stop having all these babies and you ain't married. Just stop this homosexual lifestyle. And you go to church on Sunday and because your preacher said, we accept the way you are because that's the love of Christ. That's a lie. That's a lie. Christ said, if any man be in Christ, be in Christ, he is a new creature. He is what kind? A, a new creature. What kind? A new creature. What's the result? All things are passed oh, away. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All things are passed away. Oh, God. Behold, all things. You can't walk with Christ still smoking weed? No. You can't walk with Christ and still got a six pack of beer? That's right. You can't walk with Christ and still clubbing. That's right. You can't walk with Christ and still gambling. Amen. You ain't no new Christian. You're still sinner. That's right. If any man I be in Christ. I don't care if it's your pastor. Yeah. Any time your pastor got the fellowship hall of the church written out to the neighborhood and they having parties, parties. Christmas parties, Halloween parties, Easter parties, do you go to some church? Go ahead. It's a club. That's right. Give That's me Leviticus 10.10. 10. In Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Follow me in your Bible. Leviticus chapter 10 and at verse 10. You know, because folks say, it don't take all that. It take everything that the Bible says. Everything. Follow me. Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. And what? And that ye may put difference. Did you hear this? Amen. God wants us to be different. That ye may put difference. You Christian cigarette sackers. Yeah. You that hang out with Jack and Daniels. Oh, yeah. Got a Bible in your house and a bar. And a bar. Huh? That's right. Friends, come over, you entertain them. Why would ashtrays be in the house of God's people? That's right. Amen. Bible says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the, in the world. world. Why would an ashtray be in the house mm. of God's people? That's right. Amen. Do you hear what Leviticus 10.10 10 said? And that ye may put difference. Be the same. Put difference. No, be the same. And that ye may put difference. Put a difference. Between holy. Between holy. And unholy. And unholy. And between unclean. And between unclean. And clean. Where's your difference? Amen. Where's your difference? Christian woman, where's your difference? You still out here with hot pants on. That's right. Showing your backside and got something dropped down here showing your cleavage. That's right. Amen. Got your wall green and CVS hair. Amen. Where's your difference? Fingernails so long you can't even hardly eat. That's true. That's mm. true. Amen. Where's your difference, brother? Amen. You out here switching like you raw hide. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Where, Amen. Where's your difference? Yeah. Where's your difference? 
That's right. Where is it? Hmm? Where is Your it? name is Billy, but you want to change it to Brenda. That's right. That's right. Any man coming here, ain't no man coming in First Church. <laughs> ain't going to use the ladies' room. No. No, no. You can come in with a wig all you want. That's right. You can have your size 12 and some pumps if you like. If, that's right. That bathroom says women only. Will you violate my rights? No, you violating the right that God gave you. That's right. Isn't it amazing how the government, they are fighting for fight. this same sex Yes, marriage. they will. They even said that it should be a curriculum in the elementary schools of America. Lord have mercy. You see how the devil is pushing this agenda? Amen. And these old churches, when they hear me preaching, they say, this man hate homosexuals. No, I don't. No. It's the deed that's God against. That's it. The individual God loves. God loves. But the deed. That's it. That's right. And you men done got sold. You're worse than a soggy piece of bread. Amen. Men ain't got no backbone. No. You bow to it because your son, your son come to you, dad. I... I'm getting married. You are? Congratulations, son. Mm -hmm. let, let, me, let, me, let me meet her. Okay. He go outside. <laughs> son name is Johnny. Johnny bring in James. James. James come in. Oh. oh. Hello, hello, Mr. Parker. That's right. Now, today, a lot of them is from the hood. Yeah. They coming from the hood. Oh, yes. How you doing, Mr. Parker? I'm, 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 your, I'm your son's man. That's right. And you know what Mr. Parker, the father and the mother would be like? Well, if that's the life he choose, we will support it. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with if you? If there's any parent that are watching or that are here support that and say you are Christian, you's a sinner. That's a sinner. And that ye may put different. If it's a father, he's of the devil. Amen. If he's supporting your daddy, is of the devil. That's right. You hear me, Boston? That's that right. That goes forth. I got any parents here that justify your justify. child homosexuality and say you're a Christian? You're a liar. That's a lie. That's right. That's right. That's right. I don't care if you white as snow, black as night, yellow as a school bus, or clear as water. Amen. Amen. You're a liar. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's right. Do you hear this? And that ye may put different. Put a different. Between holy, holy and unholy. And unholy. And between unclean, unclean. and clean. Amen. Put difference. That's why you young folk that got sons. And your son want to put on mommy's wig mommy's. and carry mommy pocketbook and put on mommy shoes. mommy's shoes. Don't you tell that child that's cute. That's right. That's ugly. That's right. Deprogram that child. Amen. The media is programming our children to hate God. Yeah. And we that believe in God, the Congress yes. and the media and the politicians yeah. are trying to make it seems as something is wrong with us. Right. Because we believe the Bible. There ain't nothing wrong with us. That's right. Go ahead. What's bro. wrong is what's right with us. That's right. Go ahead. T.D. Jakes won't say nothing. No. Won't say nothing. They had him on an interview. Can homosexual and the church coexist? He said, well, certainly. Well, certainly they can so exist because... Uh, there, 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 there's some good, there's some good homosexuals, Christians. That's right. That's right. There ain't no such thing. No such thing. As a homosexual Christian. No. There ain't no such thing. No, no. As abomination and Christ-like and Christ -like. together. That's right. The Bible said you can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. Same fountain. Right. I come from the hood. Either you knew how to hold your hands mm -hmm. or you didn't know how to hold your hands. That's right. You knew how to body box. 
Oh, you did. That's right. From the hood, we ain't come out like this. Yeah. We came out 